Well, I mean, we're seeing all these moves when it comes to the regional banks. Just first, give us a sense. Fundamentally, where do you see regional banks? Um, is this a, a sentiment that's sending these shares lower, or are there fundamental problems with their businesses? You know, that, that's one of the best questions I've heard in this whole time period. I like how you framed it. It is all about sentiment. The actual fundamentals for the banks, with the exception, of course, of the banks that uh, went into receivership because of the mismatch between assets and liabilities and having deposit runs, your core banks, your regional banks, the fundamentals of the business are, are, are healthy and good. First quarter results were good. Now, they weren't fantastic, but they were good. And the outlook for the, um, for the sector, credit is still strong. Capital is very healthy. Liquidity is very strong. And deposits are stabilizing to slightly growing. So it's really a sentiment call, and I, I'm glad you pointed that out. All right, so we're looking at sentiment. I don't think the sentiment's changed dramatically, but right now we're seeing the KRE bounce off lows up about a half a percent, well, one and a half percent right now. You're also looking at PacWest and Western Alliance, two stocks that were really under pressure yesterday, both now up double digits in the pre-market. So why do you see investors, at least now in the pre-market, buying back into these names when just yesterday they were bailing out of them? It's a great question again, and uh, the sentiment is, is the key uh, factor here. Um, we earlier in the week figured out, you know, that the KRE, which is an ETF, as you pointed out, 85% of the shares of the KRE were short in the middle of this week. So the, the volatility is being created, obviously, by shorts piling on, pressing their shorts. And now, you know, they, they have daily or weekly gains and they reverse out. So that volatility has to do with the trading activity of investors that are very near-term focused. And that's, and that's the key, the way they run their business. And so today, to your point, there's nothing materially different from today to yesterday, but these stocks were oversold. Many of them are greatly oversold, and right. people see real value. So, Gerard, I want to keep pulling on this thread. And by the way, right now we're showing a graphic from S3 Partners that says short interest in the KRE has jumped to 96% since midweek. So it's just climbing up and up. So how big of a factor is short selling, or do you think it will be going forward for this, uh, for this sector? Because, again, you just said it's right now trading on sentiment, not fundamentals. It's, it's going to be interesting because what we really need to see is a catalyst to change the sentiment. And we get this question regularly. And the, and the answer is time, which is, you know, unfortunately doesn't happen overnight. Right. And the second answer is going to be second quarter earnings, which, again, aren't going to happen overnight. They'll come out in July. But I think what people will see is that the sentiment will change, especially when you get the long onlys in there. Long onlys have were huge sellers of the regional banks right after Silicon Valley failed, and they're not stepping in yet. But when you start to see some of these values where the stocks are trading at big discounts to book value and tangible book value per share, you start to get these stocks to move up 20 30 percent in a couple of days. Obviously, shorts will cover, and that will even add more upside to these names. All right, so you mentioned second quarter earnings is an inflection point. Uh, coming up in just a few days, you have the loan officer survey. Just very quickly, is that going to be meaningful for these stocks with sentiment so low? I, I don't think so, because we expect, you know, obviously the banks are going to probably show that they're tightening again. Another interesting sentiment yesterday, the H4 data, that's, you know, the discount window borrowings and the new uh, lending program off of the securities portfolio came out. Those numbers are down on about 50 percent. So that's another good sign. So we're starting to get some early indicators uh, that maybe the worst is, you know, right now.